Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Ron. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the crew, subscribe, get notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. Now, we're gonna be talking about the Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 here. A um, few things I wanna talk about, get into it in a little bit more detail five things, five reasons that you should pick up the Samsung Galaxy A7. So a lot of people have, you know, their eyes on different tablets this year. Some range in the price of 500, some maybe even be ranging in the price of, I don't know, a thousand, you know, with the new iPad and everything like that. But um, there are other alternatives that you can grab right now that I would suggest getting if you do, you know, like saving money and things of that nature. Sometimes people may have their eyes set on devices where they don't need to spend a whole lot of money. They can cut that in half. So we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy A7. It has a whole bunch of features that you can use at your disposal. We have the Snapdragon 662 on here. Uh, it's grouped with a lot of um, battery on here. So we have, we have the 7,040 milliamp hour battery, which you can use at your disposal. Um, coupled in the bundle is the 32 gigabytes of ROM as well as 3 gigabytes of RAM. So, by the way, if you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe, get notified. But do me a huge favor, hit the like button right now and uh, show your support and appreciation right now. But the Samsung Galaxy Tab A7, I definitely want to get into it in a little bit more detail. We do have a really beautiful display on this guy. It's a 10.4 inch display. Um, it's got um, a five by three aspect ratio, 20, 2000 by 1200 pixels on this guy, full HD display. And it's tuned by AKG um, Dolby Audio. So you're getting that Dolby Atmos as well when it comes to the sound quality. But the first thing that I really do like about this device is I would say the build quality. So they do have a headphone jack. They didn't admit that it's 2021. A lot of companies are getting rid of the headphones, the physical headphones and using Bluetooth technology, but the A7 has that built right in. This device is still at a reasonable price. I was able to get this one for uh, a surprisingly low price. Um, they have this one on different websites for 166, but I was able to get the refurbished one for 139, 139 refurbished, but um, you know what I'm saying? We're not gonna be using the cameras that much i probably used them like five times out of the entire uh two months that i've had it right now but it does have an android 11 update on here so we did get the uh, android 11 update on here i'm going to leave a link up here so you can see what that looks like but this device has been really nice it's got the five gigahertz wi-fi really beautiful display on here kind of sizable device but still fits nice in the hand um very responsive as well so like i said metal build quality on this guy we even got quad uh speakers so the sound quality that you're getting from this thing is going to be amazing nothing short of great when it comes to the speakers and this price point something that i was really impressed with when i was listening to the music on here and some of the samples for the music so i definitely like these speakers they come out of the top and on the bottom and this thing has that like i said the dolby um atmos on here so we're, we're getting incredible sound quality when it comes to this thing it just uh it emits really good sound you could put it on music voice or movie depending on what you like the most so i definitely could say that this device is really good when it comes to the sound quality but um that's probably the first thing that i can definitely think about when using this device is the sound quality overall it just sounds really punchy very loud you're getting some really good speakers out of this thing so definitely can say that's the main thing that i really do like full volume you're getting some really good speakers they sound equally as loud they both have decent amount of bass, nothing too crazy or anything like that that's going to blow your mind away. Not the best ones that I've ever heard in the entire world, but they do get plenty loud and they do get really um, punchy. So the second thing is the software. We're getting, we do have Android 11 on this device. It's snappier. It has a whole new feel, a whole new interface, flows really nicely. 
minimalized and um, um, streamlined performance and um, user interface. So they definitely improved that as well. We got a whole bunch of options that are tailored, such as the chats where you can get individual chat bubbles. Um, you have the uh, definitely um, the animations look a lot cleaner when you're scrolling through. Uh, the performance, everything of that nature, just looks a, a lot more zippier. Even in the most recent app menu, they clean that up. You get this nice looking um, tab window right here, which looks really sick, where you could use split screen. Um, you could even use um, pop-up view on here. So they just streamlined it. Android 11 is on here. It's like a really uh, smooth software for the A7. So I definitely like that about it. The third overall thing that I like about the Tab A7 is that it's priced reasonably well and affordable. You could get it for under $200 um, depending on where you look. But I'll leave the cheapest link down below so you guys can check that out as well. But I definitely like the build quality on here. You know what I'm saying? The speakers and uh, the price as well as that, that um, you know, it does feel really smooth on the back, that metal cold to the touch. Those, those loud speakers on here. But the, the, the next thing I want to talk about is the battery. So uh, I charge this thing about, I would say every four days or something like that, every five days, you get that five, that 7,040 milliamp hour battery. So it's going to last really long when you're using it. I didn't really have much um, issues getting through a whole week with this thing, depending on the usage that I put it through per day or every time that I was using it. Mostly I would use it for like a less than an hour at a time. So it would last throughout the whole week. Standby is pretty good on here as well. You can sit this down on the table, go about your day, come back to it and have plenty of battery left to finish off some light work, you know, reading some, some, some documents, catching up with some PDFs, things of that nature, some light things. This isn't an, this isn't a workhorse, but it can definitely get some work done. If you want, if you're like a student, somebody who likes to get, get, you know what I'm saying, take notes every so often without the S Pen, just, just like using your tablet. So I, de I definitely like the weight of this. It feels really, really good in the hands. Um, <clears throat> uh, 476 grams of weight on this guy. So uh, it's, it's got a really nice display on here, like I said before, good performance, good battery life, uh, good for gaming lightly. You know, um, I did a gaming test on here. It didn't, didn't strain whatsoever. So. I just want to put this quick video out five reasons why I like the Samsung Galaxy A7. But if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button to show your support and appreciation. I definitely would appreciate that. It helps the channel tremendously. But I'm going to get right back with you. I'm going to catch up with you in the comment section. And um, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and um, show some love to you. But, you know, what I'm saying um, read all your comments. I'm going to I'm going to definitely um, read them in the order they come in. But. Definitely, um, I'm going to get right back with you and show some love to you guys down there, but I'll get right back with you. But this is the Tab A7. I definitely like it. Five reasons to buy it in 2021. It's only a year old right now at this point. And definitely could say that I could recommend this tablet for a lot of people, um, whether you're a student, college, going to college, you're just a tech head. So maybe you want to spend um, on a budget, but definitely got to say this is a really good tablet. Um, overall, I really do like the overall feel, build, performance, speakers. Um, they, I don't use the cameras that much, but it does charge relatively quick and you get some really good performance out of here. But I'm going to get right back with you guys and uh, I'll check you guys um, on the next video. But make sure you stay locked in with me and I'll, I'll get right back with you. Peace.